Hi, I'm Ollie Sellers. I'm here at Camper Clinic 2 in Buda, Texas, 13 miles south of the state capital. We're the largest Airstream dealership in the state and in the top 10 in the country. What I'm going to show you today is the 19-foot International. I'm going to take you and point out a couple of features on the outside to you and then take you inside for a look around. Join me. This is a stainless steel rock guard which is hinged and you can fold it out to clean it road debris off of it, dirt and grime, and you can also replace it because if you get some road dings, it's going to injure this and not the primary skin on the trailer. The rest of the trailer is made out of a .040 aircraft grade aluminum with over 4,000 buck rivets on board. It takes about 350 hours to build one. You've got a rock guard on your liquid propane tank, which you have two 30 pound steel LP bottles except on the classic it'll have 40 pound aluminum and here's where your two deep cycle marine batteries are at. Standard on all internationals flying clouds and classics is your power tongue jack with the light that you can use as a docking station at night. On the other side of the trailer is your gate valves for releasing your holding tanks which this 19 foot international does have fresh gray and black water holding tanks. You've got outside hot and cold water shower and a Santa flush for your black water tank. And now let's take a look inside this coach and see what Airstream's done. This is a signature series, follow me. Well, this is your international 19 foot in Paprika. It's a signature series by Christopher C. Durham. And again, for a complete good photo uh, album of this rig, come to our website at camperclinic2.com. Everybody gives Wally Byam credit for inventing or designing and building the first Airstream, but let's let the truth be known. It was a lady that invented the Airstream, his wife, Miss Byam. He took her camping, it rained, it got cold, she got wet, she announced she was never going camping again. <laughs> So the only way he could get her to go was to build something that would get her off the ground and keep her dry and warm. And because he built airplanes for a living, that's kind of how the Airstream came into existence. He looked out the window at work one day and saw one rolling by his office window without wings on it. And the light bulb went off and now we have an Airstream. It is built on aircraft technology. If you could put wings and a propeller on it, it'd probably fly. Don't try that at home, <laughs> but it probably would. Part of the international line is its overhead cabinetry with the sliding plexiglass. There's no hardware here, no hinges, hidden or otherwise. This is all smoke thick plexiglass that slides with backlighting that gives this a really nice some say a European look. I don't know. The 2012 models have distinguished themselves from other years by offering some hardware, your Blu-ray. Also, dimmer switches for your overhead LED lighting. Part of the uh, signature series is your dark, and you'll see, if, especially if you visit our website, without the intrusion of, of me pointing and showing you all around the place. This dark laminated wood grain veneer is signature Airstream with the lighter countertops. All of your Airstreams are gonna have Moen faucetry, spring-loaded for retractions, stainless steel sinks, three burner stoves with the exception of the Sport, it's only gonna have a two burner stove. And this has, you notice you don't have a lot of kitchen counter space here, but for food, uh, cold food prep, this does have a stove cover that allows you to use this area here for, for food prep, making sandwiches and such. This area here will turn into a bed. I'm not going to completely demonstrate that to you here, but you notice this leg here retracts and stows away here and this tabletop will come down and these cushions will transition so you can sleep well depending if you've got four kids and they'll fit there four kids will sleep there <laughs> 
but it'll sleep one to two adults comfortably. And there you have it. Hi, Ollie again here at Camper Clinic 2 in Buda, Texas, 13 miles south of the state capital, the largest Airstream dealer in Texas. I was just kind of scared uh, our cameraman and uh, webmaster, Don Hawk, who's behind the camera there. He was afraid of what was going to happen when I popped out from behind the curtain. But this is the back half of the 19 International that we've been looking at. And we kind of went over the outside, pointed out some of the differences in what Airstream offers from others. Looked at the front dining room area that converts into a bed. And this is your primary, if you will, master bedroom area. I'm going to get down here and show you up underneath storage. And it keeps going and going and going all the way to the back. And you can even access it from outside. So, good storage area. And it's my experience that among, if you find any two campers, one of them's a rock collector. Airstreams are not really well known and documented for having a lot of storage area. This is a closet space. Y'all can flip a coin. If someone's a clothes horse, someone's going to not have, be, be nice, play nice, be fair, take half of it and leave the other half for the other party. You've got medicine cabinets, good mirrors overhead. I know I pointed out the LED lighting and I mentioned earlier to you that you have a dimmer switch. Can you see that? In the evenings it makes for real nice mood lighting. What Airstream has done, they've built something that lasts 80 years. 80 years and counting. And they've gone into their manufacturing plant up in Jackson Center, Ohio and really made an effort to build the inside to last as long as the outside. What you find with a lot of older vintage Airstreams is that people are having to gut them and start all over from scratch with different composite materials. And they've, we don't have 80 years of proving that this will last forever, but they're making an effort. Yeah, all of your Airstream models are gonna have separate water closet or toilet, stool, and shower areas, with the exception of the 16-foot sport. Okay, at the end of the day, when all is said and done, and your feet are tired, and your, and your <laughs> knees are sore, and your hips sore, you can set this up, put a movie in the Blu-ray back over here that I showed you earlier, and kick back, and call it a day. And with that, I'm going to close telling you that there was a lot more about this that I didn't show you, but visit us online, call us, get with one of our associates that can help you pick out the right one for you. Again, visit us at camperclinic2.com. My name's Ollie, and I appreciate your time. The more you know about RVs, Camper Clinic, the better we look.